It has been said that a single flap of a butterfly's wings in Brazil can cause a tornado in Texas. And while that might be difficult to prove, it is true that the most powerful and destructive forces on Earth have to begin somewhere. Scientists from NASA and NOAA start studying hurricane genesis at a global scale using a fleet of Earth-observing satellites. With their eyes high above the troposphere, Terra and Aqua can watch as air masses traverse both continents and oceans. In some cases, such as this sequence of Isabel, their data can actually show us an air mass organizing into a hurricane. But wait, why do some clouds become cyclonic and not others? To answer this question, researchers travel across the Atlantic to Africa, where many of these systems, known by scientists as African easterly waves, have their origin. As many as 60 or 70 of these waves may stream off the African continent in a given year, yet typically only one out of 10 will actually develop into a named tropical cyclone. By flying specialized airplanes high above and right through the center of hurricanes and the cloud systems that form them, the scientists can collect measurements and try to deduce just what set of conditions are needed for a hurricane to take shape. As you might expect, there is no one single cause for a hurricane, but rather an intricate system involving wind, temperature, pressure, and a part of the atmosphere called the Saharan air layer. So while the flap of a butterfly's wings may be an ingredient, the entire recipe for a hurricane is one of incredible complexity that we are still only beginning to understand. 